thank you for joining me today. Today's practice is relatively short, 20 to 30 minutes long. So just slowly let yourself arrive. I invite you to close your eyes. And please check in with your physical body. Assessing where you are in today's body. How do you feel? And then please check in with your emotional body. How do you feel? And please honor the body that you inhabit today. Slowly place the hands into a diamond shape on the lower belly. Resting your hands gently onto your lower belly. Loosening any personality or emotion or expression of your face. As you allow the tip of the tongue to lightly connect behind the two front teeth. As your mind drops down into your breath, feel the rhythm, the sensations of the coherent breath. In through the nose, out of the nose, diaphragmatic breathing. So allowing the belly to swell slightly on your inhale and descend with surrender on your exhale. Visualizing a pure white light. And as you visualize this pure white light, allow this light to enter through the diamond shape that's placed on your belly. And send the white light with an exhale forward and outwards. Breathing in pure white light. Exhaling pure white light. And now release the hands. And on an exhale, press the palms to face forward. And as an inhale, draw the hands, the back of the hands back to the level of the heart. Keeping the shoulders soft. And now visualize the essence and feel the essence of love. And breathe in love through this diamond shape into your heart. Exhale the essence and experience of love out through the diamond shape. Inhaling love. Exhaling love. On your next available exhale, press the palms forward and raise the arms at the height of the brow level. Inhale, draw the hands back to sit in the space between the brows. And experience intention, focus and clarity in the space between the brows. And imagine you can inhale intention, focus, clarity today. And exhale those same feelings, emotions, experiences through the crown of the head. 
with the center of the brow. As your next exhale, press the hands, palms forward and raise the palms to face the sky and draw a circle completely around the outer edges of the body, letting the hands, the arms, the fingers drop and soften, savouring that short meditation. feels right for you, I invite to blink your eyes open and place the hands in front of your heart, ready for our moon variation salutation. Exhaling. As we inhale, raise the arms softly to the sky. Take the thumbs to the back of the head, to the back of the heart, and lift and broaden the chest. As you exhale, bend your knees, come down the center line, hinging forward into a forward bend. Inhaling, stepping the right leg back, tap the knee and simply raise the chest and gaze. On your exhale, plant the ankle, drop the head and rest. Sweep the arms, sweep the trunk towards the sky, hands touch the back heart. And as you exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Inhale, tap the knees down, raise and lift and broaden chest for cat. Toes back, round back body into cow. Press the hips back onto the heels into child's pose and then drag yourself forward, coming down to lie on your belly into preparation for cobra. Plant the pelvis, toes, rise low or high cobra. And exhale, press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, tapping back down to cat. Exhale, rounding back body for cow. Inhale, sit the hips back and touch the thumbs onto the back heart. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Raise both heels, step right leg forward, raise the trunk, open the chest. Plant the left ankle, drop the head and skull down. Inhale, Anjayasana. Thumbs touch the back space. Exhale, standing forward bend, soft knees, relax skull. Inhale, rise to the sky. Firm the thighs, thumbs touch the back space. And exhale, come all the way down, back into Tadasan Mountain Pose. Inhale. Bow down, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, set the ankle and relax down. Inhale, Anjay Asana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tap your knees, chin chest rises. Exhale, round back body into cow. Inhale, sit back into child's. And as you exhale, come forward through caterpillar, elbows, shoulders back, pelvis down, toes down, rise, baby, or big cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tap your knees into cat. Exhale. 
exhale, round back body into cow. Inhale, sit the hips back, touch the back heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Both heels rise, left leg steps forward. Exhale, right ankle down, back of the skull relax. Inhale, sweep to the sky, thumbs touch the back space. Exhale, standing forward fold, soft knees, relax skull. Inhale, rise to the sky. Hands come down the center line. Touch the front heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Right leg back, inhale. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child. Exhale, come forward. Caterpillar. Inhale, low. Bye, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Raise both heels, right leg forward, inhale. Exhale, plant the left ankle, drop the skull, relax down. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, rise to the sky. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, bow into a forward bend. Inhale, raise the arms, thumbs touch the back space. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, ripple forward through for caterpillar. Inhale, rise, baby cobra, big cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Raise the heels, left leg forward, inhale. Plant the right ankle, release down, forward fold. Inhale, Anjay Asana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to your heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Right leg back, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. 
inhale rise exhale downward facing dog inhale drop knees tap cat round whole back body cow inhale hips sit back Exhale, caterpillar down to the floor like never before. Inhale, rise baby or big cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Heels rise, step right leg forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, standing forward fold. Rise to the sky. come down the center line. Last time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Left leg, step it back. Rise the chest. Plank the left ankle. Forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, ripple through, chin, chest, elbow, shoulders back, plant the toes, pelvis, rise, cobra, or big cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tap the knees, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, child's pose, hands together into prayer, touch the heart. Exhale, standing forward bend. Heels rise, step left leg forward, tap the knee, raise the chest. Plant the right ankle, bow down, forward fold. Inhale, Anja Asana. Thumbs touch the back space. Exhale, standing forward bend. Soft knees, relax skull. Inhale, rise to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands down, touch the brow, touch the heart, and pause. And allow the breath to softly marinate as you spend a moment observing the sensations of the breath, the space between thoughts. you to open your eyes and relax your hands. So you can choose to do as many rounds of that moon salutation as you wish in your own time. But today we're going to come down and sit, either kneel, placing just a bit of support underneath the hips, or come to sit on the hips, legs crossed, but raise the hips with a bolster or a brick. Nadi Shadana, alternating nostril breath. So we're balancing the right and left nadis, the right and left side of the brain. If you're left-handed, please use the instructions for your left hand for the mudra. If you're right-handed, come into Vishnu Mudra. So that forefinger and middle finger rest on the space between the brow 
the left palm of the hand facing up from waist, arm and shoulder relaxed. Your thumb and your ring finger block off the two sides of the nostril. So we're going to slightly sedate our exhale by retaining a little bit of half pressure on that nostril that we're exhaling out of. So the rhythm is that we inhale through the left and we exhale through the right. A full inhale back through the right and an exhale through the left. And every exhale, you slightly half press on that exhalation side. And what that does is it slightly sedates the nadi. So this is a very, very balancing breath. I'll talk you through two or three rounds. And then I'd just like you to continue for about five rounds or so on your own. So allowing the second and third finger of your right or left hand to touch the space between the brows. Allow the tongue to rest softly on the floor of the mouth. Block off the right nostril. And inhale fully through the left nostril. Block it off and release the right and slightly half press it. So the exit of exhale is slightly compressed. It's sedated. And then release that pressure and inhale fully through that same side. Block it off completely. Exhale through the left, but half sedate its exhalation. Release the pressure, breathe in left fully. Block it off, release right and half exhale it. Release the pressure, inhale fully. Block it off, exhale, half sedated left. Release the pressure, open nostril left. Block it off, exhale right, but half sedate it. Release the pressure, inhale right. Block it off, exhale left, half sedate it. And I'll leave you in your own time to do two or three more rounds.
but no rushing to be finish off where you are in your rounds of Nadi Shadana. But just make sure that you end up exhaling through the left nostril, the nostril where you began. And then placing the hands softly down onto the back of the knees, palms facing down. And simply observe the quality of breath through the tip of the nostrils. Noticing its clarity and its texture and the quality of that soft, quiet, gentle breath. And then coming to rest into child's pose. And if you have a brick available, just place that brick underneath the brow and have the hips just a little bit apart and allow the front of the brow to softly rest down into your brick or to the ground if you don't have a brick, palms of the hands facing uppermost. And be particularly conscious of relaxing the base at the back of the skull. And find the sensation of your coherent rhythmic breath as you allow the diaphragm to shift and contract down and rise softly back up on your exhale. And then just release the brick to the side and extend the arms forward. And you may just want to open the hips just a little bit wider for wisdom seal. Resting either forehead or chin to the ground. Observing the space within the container of your trunk. Breathing 360 degrees around that spaciousness. We're going to rotate the trunk by walking halfway up and then reaching your right arm, threading it through underneath the left, resting the ear to the ground or using a break and extending that left arm forward to the front of the mat. Lift the palm of the left hand up so that that arm does not drop down in front or onto your cheek. Subtly slide your left hip back away from the left fingertips. And then we're going to find a bind behind our back as we raise that left arm up and tuck it behind the left, the right side of the body, hooking the hand onto your t-shirt or the inner thigh if it reaches. Three rounds of soft, gentle breath here. One more round of breath. Let that exhale completely go. And on your inhale, Release that left arm all the way back to the front of the mat. Draw it slowly in and use it to push yourself slowly up. No effort involved in dragging the body up. Inhale to prepare for your second side. Thread left arm through on your exhale. Your right arm extends to the front left corner of your mat. Create some sprays from arm bit to shoulder. And then raising that right arm to the sky, windmill it round slowly, finding a bind behind the back. Turning the ribs softly and subtly to the left, to the right. That right shoulder sitting down away from your ear. Gentle breath. We 
you release the arm bind. And then draw that right arm in, press down to the ground and just simply push yourself up. And slowly make your way onto your back. So you can either cross the shins and roll over your shin way, that is available to you. Or coming just to rest onto the back with your legs to the side. And so clasping the knees with your hands and just feeling the skull, the shoulder blades, the whole back connected. We're going to take supine Gomukhasan pose into an eagle, a twisting eagle. So we're crossing the right thigh over the left and open the lower limbs by flexing the feet and having the heels on the same height as your knees. And this may be available to you. If not, pick up the head and reach to the outer edge of the feet and then lower the shoulders and lower the head. And that subtle softness of grounding the shoulders down, keeping the spine long and grounded to the floor. I invite you to close your eyes as you practice today. Simply observing the coherent rhythm of your breath. That soft, sweet, light inhale, the surrendering of your exhale. And then coming into Eagle Pose, tucking, if possible, your right foot behind your left shin. Left foot touches the ground, arms widen to the sides of your shoulders. On your next available exhale, let the legs gently roll towards the left and the head rolls towards the right. Keeping the right shoulder down, your left hand may or may not add a little bit of leverage onto that top right thigh. And find the breath situated in the left side of the body. Two more rounds of breath. Your left hand lifts the legs back to center and draw the knees back to neutral as the head. With our second side, cross your left thigh over the top of the right and flexing the feet on the same height of your knees. This may be your pose. If you can, raise the head, raise the shoulders, clasp the outer edge of the feet and then lower the shoulders and lower the head down. Closing the eyes if it feels safe and appropriate for you today. Feeling the whole of the back, from the back of the skull to the base of the lower spine, down on the ground. Experience the sensation in the pelvis. As we move into our next pose, supine eagle, our left foot tucks behind our right shin. Our right foot sits down to the floor, arms float wide at the height of the shoulders. On your next available exhale, legs drop over to the right and the head rolls left. If your left shoulder stays down, place the right hand at the knee end of that top left thigh. And simply visualize the breath brushing up and down the whole left side of the body. Mm -hmm. 
One more round of breath in this rotation twist. And then simply use your right hand to assist your legs back to center. Untangle the feet and lay yourself out into the last symbolic pose of Shavasana. If you need a covering, please cover your body. Make yourself warm and as comfortable as possible. Close the eyes down. Let the tongue release its grip from the palate. Allow the lips to part. Allow the skin and the muscles to loosen their grip from the bones. Feel every part of your body, every part of your breath, every part of your mind, simply surrender into stillness. As I leave you to rest in the pose of Shavasana for as long as you wish.